Welcome back to another Creative Coding video. Today we're going to be talking all about functions in Lua scripting or Roblox Studio scripting. This is the sixth video in my series. So let's get started. So if you have watched my variable video, you know what a variable is, right? So a, a function is sort of like a variable. It contains information, just like a variable does. But instead of only a string or a number, it can contain several lines of code. And you can use it in other parts of your code, just like you can do with a variable. So they're pretty similar. So you may be wondering, how do we make a function? How we do that is that first we type function, like how we would first type local. Like that. And you notice that it has a little, now that we've typed the full thing, as you can see, once we type the full thing, it turns a little bit red because that is a, a f function or a variable that is in Lua scripting, that is, which makes it easier to code. So function, then we can name our function. What do we want to call it? Let's call it test, for example. Let's just call it ex, for example. Then we're going to add parameters, or the little uh, brackets. And then we're gonna do. And then we're gonna enter. And then we, when we click enter, it automatically adds the word end. And that's just so that it has this little case. So then when it gets to the end of the function, it ha the Lua knows of that is the end, end of it. So now uh, we want to add some parameters in it. I mean, not parameters. Uh, that what it's going to store. So what if we want it to change the transparency? Yeah, let's make it change the transparency of the base plate for the sake of simplicity. So let's type game dot workspace dot base plate to narrow it down uh, dot transparency is equal to let's make it 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 how about that to make it even more transparent there you go so now it stores this piece of information so now how do we use that right so the way we use it is that we click enter oops not there is that we go down enter enter and then to call it like how we would do with a variable like you would write the name then we would do the name is ex right so we do ex and then we would add the brackets I'll explain of what we do with these brackets in maybe one or two videos later so that we know how to use these so now that's basically it so if we run it then uh, the base plate should be um, a little bit more transparent because that we have called this function right now it's uh, I need to change the reflections because I forgot to change it. There we go. Now it's clear. Let's click play and let's wait for it to load. There we go. If we look around then we can see that the base plate has became more transparent because that we called the function and made it. And you may be wondering of what would happen if we get rid of this. If we did, it would cause an error and then it would the base plate wouldn't be transparent and nothing would work. So it's important to call it because up here it's like creating a variable. First we create it and then we choose when we want to call it. So there we go. We can also uh, connect a fun function to something that happens, like maybe if we touch a block. So I want to show of how you can other ways you can use this. So I'm going to add a part really quick, just for an, another example. If we add this here, and then we can do a script inside of the part since we can add parts into scripts I mean scripts into parts then we can delete this and then do an if statement which I'll 
explain prop in this video so that's understandable because I've used it in another video so if uh, what would happen if player touches the block actually no if script dot parent parent is this part parent dot touched an event I'll explain in another video then we're going to do colons connect and then we're going to connect it to a function to the function well actually no, we're going to connect it to ex yeah. oh my gosh I mean we're going to add it to yeah function in e function and then we're gonna do enter and then we can do our transparency yes make it uh, game dot workspace dot transparency I mean no part dot transparency to one equal one so what's happening here is uh, some new things that happened that I've added is the connect and these other brackets so what happens is that we're checking in this little function right here if the if the parent of this the script that we're writing in which is the part is touched by anything we connect it to this function right here and then game dot workspace dot part transparency equals one which would make it invisible if we touch it if we run this. So if we wait for the Roblox testing to load in, let's look around, let's find that part. Um, all right. And the thing that happened is that when it touches anything, if it's touched by anything, even the beast plate. So we can, so that it works, so that's still visible with us. We can do an up, do control two to make, add those arrows that you've seen. Move it up so that it's not touching anything. Put it on anchor and then play. So then it's not touching anything. So it shouldn't go invisible. So let's look around. There's the block. As you can see, it's still visible because it's not touching that base plate. And now if we touch it, boom, it's gone. But it's still there. It's not, it's, as you can see, my player is not really jumping properly because it's under the block. It's still visible, it's just transparent. Parkour onto it. You can see, yeah, floating. Ta -da. So that's a, two ways you can use a function. So we can, so what we have learned today. So we've learned how uh, we can call a function, create a function, and connect a function to an event, like an if statement. So what we did so far, is in, if we check this one, we learned how to call a function. To call a function, basically, is to do function, then ex, then we can, and then what we do next is uh, click enter to, at the end and then we can type in what we want to happen and another important thing that we need we learned is that to call it by typing the name and the param and the brackets like that so then it can actually run and then what else we learned is what if we want to connect it to if something happens so like if we touch the block if, now that we check that out so then whatever uh, happens if the part is touched then we connect it to this function here, which runs this code, the part to be transparent completely when anything touches it. And you may be wondering, uh, for example, what if we wanted it to not, no, it's only turn transparent when we touch it? Well, that would co uh, need a lot more coding, which has a lot more complex pieces 
which I'll be teaching in, a f in future videos. So for now, we're just learning some basic things like how to make a function. So that's basically it for this video about functions. I hope you have an amazing day.